Hi, welcome to another Miss Jenny's Re video where I, Miss Jenny, will review and recommend something. I have another movie. Let's flash back to the 90s. What kind of movie could I possibly be talking about today? How about a movie about two women who are going to their high school reunion and decide to lie to everybody that they uh, invented post-its? Yeah, I'm talking about Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion. This starred two actresses who were so hot at the time, Mina Savarez, Saveri, Servino. Mira Servino and Lisa Kudrow. Holy crap. These girls, women, hit it out of the park. Their portrayal of these two characters are spot on and so perfect, and their chemistry together, fabulous. So, Romy and Michelle have been best friends forever. They have been best friends in high school and they were never apart. They were so much together that they got their portraits taken together for the yearbook. <laughs> That's iconic. They get a letter that their high school reunion is coming up. Oh, what? So they went to high school in the 80s, and there are a couple flashbacks uh, to that time period, which are so spot on. And because the script is so smart, it actually calls back some of those moments when they actually get to the reunion. While they're filling out their Where Have You Been survey, they find out that maybe their lives aren't that great just on paper. Because right now, all they kind of do is hang out and they live together and they go to clubs and they dance and they have great fashion sense. But that's kind of it. One of them works um, at the front desk of like a, a jag wire car place and the other one doesn't have a job. They realize that this isn't that great and they kind of travel back down memory lane and realize like maybe their lives aren't that as great as they thought even though before this point they have been very happy with who they were it's important these title characters really run the show Romy and Michelle are just everything that I want to be they're so quirky and fun and more or less carefree and they know what they like and they, like I said, have the best fashion sense ever. The side characters in this film, the supporting cast, has people like uh, Janine Garofalo and Alan Cumming. Huh? Of course I do. <laughs> Romy and Michelle decide to um, appear more successful than they have been, so they come up with a plan to just lie and say that they're successful business women. So they get a nice car borrowed off a friend, and they buy nice suits to wear. It's a good idea. Until they go on, they go on the road trip to go there and they stop at a diner and they're like, Hi, do you have any businesswoman specials? Because we're a businesswoman and we're looking to have like a businesswoman special. And the diner waitress is like, we don't have any of that here. What kind of business are you in? And they don't know because they only thought about the way they looked and not about what they're going to talk about with people when they get there at the reunion. 
It's just kind of like what you do at reunions is you talk about what the heck you've been up to. So they devise a plan to say that they were in the inventor of post-its. Like, one of them, like, invented, like, the, like, glue or whatever, and the other one said they were gonna be yellow. This is a great idea, except for the fact that they didn't invent post-its. Because nobody will know who invented post-its. <sighs> This actually causes a divide between Romy and Michelle because why wouldn't one of them be smart enough to make the glue and why does she have to be the designer of post-its and not the inventor of post-its and Romy's very much like, well Michelle, you're more like the designer and like no one would really believe that you kind of invented post-its. So this causes like a big fight between them. When they get to the reunion, they're like, don't talk to me. We are not here together. While all of this is going on, there are side plots. Michelle has been in love with the football player guy, captain of the football team, who has been, you know, he blew her off at prom and all this other stuff, but she's still like, oh my god, what if I could totally, like, see him and stuff? He has been dating the cheerleader the whole time who bullied Romy and Michelle. See, Romy used to be a fat girl, and Michelle used to wear a back brace, so... Those are plot points. That's a big plot point. Romy wants to see the guy that she's been like oogling, ogling, or whatever. And then Janine Garofalo's character was really like in love with um, Sandy Frank, played by Alan Cumming. And that's a plot point because the Alan Cumming Sandy Frank character was always in love with Michelle. And she didn't want anything to do with him because it was Sandy Frank. So when they get to the reunion, everything kind of plays out like wonderfully, like they're the most successful, even though Michelle gets hit by a limousine, but it's okay because Sandy Frank's inside and because he's like a billionaire now, he like got his face done and he's all like, <laughs> like a model now or whatever. He has like dream boat fake face. <laughs> I personally like the way Alan Cumming looks just plain, not with all this like weird prosthetics that they did on him, but I understand what they were going for. So this all happens and then they never talk again. Romy and Michelle never talk again. Until one of them is on their deathbed and then they call each other on like video phone, which is kind of funny because it's more like a Zoom call now. They are still fighting and they still won't admit that like... I'm the Mary, and you're the Rhoda. I'm the Mary, and you're the Rhoda. I'm the Mary. So they, like, still don't talk or whatever. And then, uh, you know, one of them dies. The end. I'm kidding, that's not the end. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? It was a dream sequence, which is fine. So they finally go to um, the reunion, but they still aren't talking because, you know, they didn't make up before the dream sequence even started. And all of these things happen. Like, they they say that they're the inventor of post-its and they get made fun of because one of them is like, no, you're not. I know who invented post-its. And that was not cool. So they get bullied because the girls who bullied them in high school haven't grown up. They're all, like, with their high school boyfriends and pregnant and, like still nasty inside their hearts. So Romeo and Michelle are like, screw this. What are we doing? We should like be ourselves. So they go out and change out of their 
suits and they come back wearing these most amazing dresses which you can see here on the cover but for some reason on the promotional posters and such like here they changed um Romy's dress from a blue to this like um pinky red thing I guess because to match more and not be as clashy on the cover um meh the blue is better. So they do what they do, and then one of the girls from the clique who actually became this successful, like, Vogue editor is like, they do have good style. They have clean lines. They really say something. I like it. And everybody's like, oh, what? I like it too. So hooray, everybody likes their style. And then... Sandy Frank comes flying in with a helicopter because in reality, he's still a billionaire. <laughs> but he didn't mess up his face. Sounds good. And he asked uh, Michelle to dance with him. And she's like, um, only if Romy can dance with us too. And he's like, sure. <laughs> Why not? And they do the most epic dance to Time After Time by Cyndi Lauper. And every time I hear that song, I think about that dance. It's so good. I, uh, If I could just find two other people to do that dance with me, I would do that dance. Who wants to do that dance with me? <gasps> oh, oh, somebody please please we can learn it and then do it and then it would be fun something we can do to be fun anyway they go off and they you know become successful in their own right and they realize that they were happy the whole time and they didn't need to change the way that they were to appease other people's perception of them because those other people were dark-hearted awful human beings to begin with who are bullies and still are and don't change who you are just to make someone else happy because you are probably happy being you so for the love of it watch this movie it has all of these 90s feelings wrapped um around it is with all this 80s nostalgia with all the throwbacks and the things of that nature but this movie is so good these women oh amazing and if i have to talk about my love for alan one more time i will by the way if you guys haven't watched all the things that Alan has been in, I'll be talking about two very soon. One has to do with cats, and the other one has to do with spice. Thank you for joining another Miss Jenny's Re video where I, Miss Jenny, recommended another movie. <laughs> Bye!